Welcome back to Bunter's Yard and this is a uh, sort of short tutorial regarding uh, rust, just a different version of rust. This is going to be real rust as opposed to this painted on rust that you've seen on this wagon here. So this is done with powders and oils, uh, which is quite good from a distance, but it doesn't have any sort of dimension, any texture. So we're going to use this, which is called scenic rust and it's a kit and everything it needs in there. We've got this one from Amazon and I'll uh, try and find it and put the link down below in the description for you. You can paint this onto anything. So all you need is these uh, sort of three basic elements which are in the kit, which is the scenic rust, uh, scenic, rust scenic rust binder, the scenic rust powder, which is a, like a ground steel, powdered steel, and then the developer, which is the chemical that um, activates everything and makes it go rusty. So first thing we need to do is to use our binder. And this is kind of like a, like a, a glue. Uh, it dries a bit tacky and uh, enables us to do the, uh, the rest of the stages. So we're just going to dab that in kind of the central place where we want the rust to appear. So the reason we've weathered this before is just to, uh, just to um, sort of blend the edges of the rust rather than just having a, a, a scab of rust sitting in the middle of nowhere. So this kind of gives it a bit of context, but you can do that afterwards. Um, as uh, as you as you see necessary. So just uh, in case you're interested, this um, this binder. I washed the brush in just plain water afterwards and it was fine to use again so uh, it's not like a sort of copy dex type of glue you're gonna to have to waste the brush on that so uh, yeah so just just wash your brush off in water and it'll be fine again to fight another day now on the inside we're going to do a little bit heavier uh, a little bit more binder and a little bit more of the powder in a moment uh, just to give uh, a, a different type of effect inside this is going to be uh, obviously a lot deeper rust, so a much more sort of scabby. Um, but yeah, just just to just to show you what we can do with this, to see if it's something that you might be interested in using on your layout. Now you can see that the binder goes off slightly different colour. It will go. Uh, it will go clear once it's finished. There we go. This took about ten minutes for the outside. Um, once to dry, the inside is not quite dry. You'll see in a sec. But we carried on anyway. So then we're going to drop the powder all over the uh, the uh, the binder. Now I'm going to brush it on. Um, although you can just tip it over it if you want to do that. Um, and I've done this on a, on a plain piece of paper so that I can save the powder and pop it back into the little pot once I've finished. If you get too much on, uh, you can always just knock it off or once it's dried um, or develops then we can just brush it off and just tidy it up. I'm trying to get as much of this powder on as you, as you can, you want to cover it properly. The thing to bear in mind with this powder is that once it develops it will um, it will grow like a rust so it'll be a scab, it'll be three dimensional. Um, so on the outside maybe you don't want to go too heavy um, because it will be the the, the rust will be um, will, will sort of be blown away from the wagon uh, much further than it would in real life it wouldn't be sort of scale but from a distance it would look uh, it would look great and the thing is with this rust powder that you get all the natural colors the real colors of of rust um, so it does make it look actually quite realistic because it's real basically isn't it Gonna make sure that gets coated. I'm not too worried about how much powder we're using because we can save it. We just can tip it onto the paper, then back into the pot. Then we use our rust developer. Now I'm not sure this is uh, obviously noxious, um, so I am going to wear a glove on my right hand. You can see there that's the one that's going to come into contact with it 
at all, I guess. And you have a choice of how you want to apply this. Now I'm using it with a brush, and we're just gonna um, sort of dab it in and let the uh, let the capillary action take control. Just make sure it all gets covered. There is a pet, a little eyedropper in the kit as well. You could use that instead if you want to. Um, I'm not sure if you'd use, end up using too much, so I was a bit cautious of that. So just trying to dab it on without dislodging all of the powder, although the binder is quite tacky, so it would have uh, would hold that in place properly. And then inside, we need to do that inside. And then we just need to sit and wait. Now the instructions says three to four hours. Um, you'll see within an hour or so it starts to develop and the rust will start to appear. I've left this overnight and you can see the uh, the rust there. And I've added a few, little bit of weathering powder just to uh, soften the edges up. But you can see the effect inside, it's quite a thick rust inside. And you can continue adding uh, different chemicals. Some people have added salt water and all sorts of things and you'll get different color rusts. So uh, there we go. I uh, hope that was useful, give it a go. Um, and we'll see you next time on Bunter's Yard.